TMZ Live, Harvey and Dax here. So, uh, Ciara has filed legal documents. Um, they are strange documents to me, at least. But she is saying that she believes there is a real threat that her baby daddy, Future, may try to kill, murder uh, her fiancé, Russell Wilson. Um, she filed these documents in her defamation lawsuit, her $15 million defamation lawsuit, against Future, um, who allegedly trashed her, and she says it damaged her, and she wants money. Um, so it was after the police reported that she filed? After... Oh, the one that she didn't file. The one that she didn't file. <laughs> That's right. So what happened was he has filed legal docs to dismiss the defamation suit. So she has now filed a response to that saying, no, don't dismiss a judge, and you should know. And then she points the following. She says, number one, that about a year ago, he um, he he wrote, um, he posted some football emojis on with Twitter. Guns, with on Twitter. Twitter. With football emojis uh, on Twitter with guns pointed at them, making some people think that because Russell Wilson is obviously world famous for being a football player, that he was threatening him on social media. That's a fair jump, right? I mean, to me, it's a fair jump-ish. Uh, you know, the whole thing, and then, of course, uh, Russell uh, Future just recently put out the song Juice, which is more specifically what she's talking about in these specific docs, and in the song Juice, he actually uses language that made a lot of people think he was directly, once again, threatening Russell Wilson. Which we have right here. So, I mean, let's be realistic. If she was honestly scared or, or Russell Wilson was scared, they would have gone more than just in a defamation lawsuit, right? I don't think it, has no, any, they, it doesn't have anything to do with the defamation scared. lawsuit, but you would you file a police report and say, look, I think that Future is going to murder uh, my fiance, and I need you to do something, or you go into court and get a restraining order. But it's weird that it would just be brought up in this. I, 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 I've got both ways on this. Number one, I, I think that she knows Future, uh, and if she feels like there's something there to be afraid of, uh, I don't know why we would sort of be so dismissive about what she's saying. Oh, oh, why did well, take that, let me address that. Let me address that. Sure. That there are ways, if you really feel that, of getting some protection, and that's either going to the courts by getting a restraining order, or going to the police and filing a police report, but to file it in an answer to a defamation case that has nothing to do with those two issues, and two issues that have already been out in the in the public, one of them for a year, is just weird. Yeah, fair enough. Like, I think that she knows that Future actually poses no threat to Russell Wilson, and Future's not going to run up on Russell Wilson. It's not going to happen. Was it silly and a little bit, I don't know, a, a, a tension, a, a looking for attention to kind of put his name in that song or not? Put his name in that song, but allude to that. Sure, I just wonder how how they feel about this entire thing between them becoming so petty and playing out the public. Maybe he just wants to shoot up footballs. Can we talk about that? Well, no. He was clearly making a veiled kind of like, well, phony he's, threat he's against not, Russell. Yeah, he's not really threatening Russell Wilson. He's not. He's, he's just not gonna catch Russell Wilson you know somewhere. Doing, do you know, something he, to him. It's he, not gonna happen. You know what he's doing? He's showing he's tough and he wants to scare Russell Wilson. I mean, he's using whatever bravado he has with him as his image as a rapper to kind to show people that maybe Russell Wilson's kind of not that type of guy. I mean, not, because he's not answering him. He's not entering, entering into what Future will want to have with him. But still, though, I wish they would stop doing this. It's getting to be a little bit lame, to be honest with you. So what's Sierra's endgame doing this? I mean, to make him look bad. I feel like that's the end game between the both of them, right? right? So what, what's, the, what's the end game of this? Totally. If she wanted custody, like you said, she would have been more, like, I guess, adamant and going at and using this against him. But it seems like the whole thing is to embarrass the other person. Well, she did want custody. She, did. she lost that. I know, but that's already been taken care of, is what I'm saying. But she didn't use this as extra fuel to that. I don't think she did. It seems like there's no hint to this other than the drag his name through the mud. Hi, Ruthie in Florida here. Here's my theory. Everything Sierra is doing regarding future is a product of the fact that they're still in love. I don't think she's frightened that he's going to kill him. I think she might be a little excited by his jealousy. Russell is a great guy. The better, the healthier choice, like a bowl of fruit versus the gooey chocolate cake. The future is to Sierra, and I don't think they're done. I think they're still in love, and it wouldn't surprise me if they had another baby together. Oh, my God. Oh, that escalated. Oh, my God. Are you back together and having another baby? For she said. Sounded confident about that. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Um, I don't. I'm not going to dismiss that actually, because there is a, a thin line between love and hate. Uh, okay. So. Uh,